Okay. I'll start by creating my table. As you are waiting for the table, let me start creating the stretches. You have three main tables. The record stock, source, and the users. So let me start with the project, new Java project. Phone shop. Phone shop. For which I was. Uh, product. You don't have product. This is not complete. No, the product table. There's product table. This one. It's for. It's not. This not. One. Yeah. Okay. I just need for don't worry, I'll just use what is here too. Okay. So finish. Then now that I have these guys, I'll create my let me see whether my database is ready. I'll create my tables. I already have users. So I'm tempted to create a new database. Let me create a new database. A new database. Phone shop. Page. Then I'll create a table. Users. Number of columns three. Username. Password. Then user tile, access level. Save. I'll create another table. Product. Four columns. Name of product. Mother. ID date of manufacture for the sake of brevity I'll use train for the date date so I'll still use the worker then finish save I create a nice table. Record. <laughs> so it says columns. Go. Date. The same vacuum. And I know my second should have been what? The date type. Then we process it there. Source name. I have to go and process at the Java side. Uh, so many stuff. Some date picker and stuff.
description vaca quantity quantity their whole numbers so numbers Then put that name. So let's see. Now the final table supplier or source. Let me make a supplier. Eight columns. Source underscore name. Country. Address. Telephone. website contact person email and name no, there's no need for the name. The source name and the name is the same. So say, so these are the three tables. I'll just go straight to my <coughs> Eclipse and create my DAO classes. So I just have three, three extra packages. Dot model. View. Then let me add the last one, the controllers. So in the model, that's where I'll put my DAO classes or the Java bin. So you have user finish. And the user class we have okay, let me finish creating other classes today. User class product. Then you have record. Then finally supplier. So let me start the list one. User, we have what? I want to name it exactly as it's in the database. So access level. Then default constructor. Generate getters and setters. Generate constructor using flows.
strange method. Then let me just hard hash code. There is no, there's no need. I'm just adding them. Then I'll come to the product table. So we have private. So for product generate getters and setters. Generate getters and setters to string. Generate construct a season for then hash code. So I come to the record that one to private this. Unit price is double. You let's continue, don't worry. Quantity is integer. So int. Quantity. There are how many? Product name, so string. Ah, what's on the name? Oh, I'm doing record right now. And I want the first constructor up here. So let's apply it to private. So uh, all 
let's shift this. Okay, so I'm done with my model. Then I'll create another package for you too. I even I can put it in the controller. Let me know. So that's what I'll do. I'll just go straight and copy my connect class. Nothing will change, so I will not waste too much time on it. And I have to change my database name. The database is as phone shop. So then um I need the uh, managers. So let me create them at a go. I'll put all of them in the model. So product manager user manager supplier manager Then which other um, record? Then finally, oh, there's no final. Okay, we are done. So there is it. I'll create. So I'll just finish with my model. I'll need what? The connection class. So private. Private. But before that, let me just add a driver. So I forget. So I'll right click. Both parts. Add a stemma. Okay. So I need a connection. Private connection. You got new. It's not always like that. I know. <laughs> I know you're talking about sample will be confused. It's not always fun. It's a reference that we can give it any name. Yes. So this. Then. Now that I have my connection, I'll create my method. So public. Public. Even. I always want to do this, but let me make my. We have the last time I was talking about the design patterns. You have what you call singleton. So for singleton, you only create an instance, one instance of the class, and make the constructor private. So I'm, I'm trying to make this class singleton. So I'll just create connect. But instead of making a constructor public, I'll make it what? Private. Now when I make it private, no one can have access it outside the class. So I'll create a private variable. Private. And that variable returns what? Connect. <clears throat> then it's equal to new. Not giving it a name. <coughs> Instance new connect. So I'm um, I've only created one instance inside this class. Now I have to expose this method. So I'll just create a public static word method for it. Public static 
void. Not void. It should return what? The connect. So connect. 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 Get instance. Get instance. So normal method. Then it should return the instance. Okay, I have to make this guy static. Because I need it in a static block. Get instance. So this instance, get instance method return one, the instance of the class. Just making your constructor private, creating a public method for access, then instantiating the instance in your class is what we call singleton. There will be only one copy of the what the connect class in the entire application. So when I come here, I save it and I come to where I was programming. Ah, which class? Record. Okay. When I come here, it's now give me an error here. Because this now to instantiate what? A static member. So I'll just do connect dot get instance dot get connection. So I've created an instance of it. And you usually call this factory methods because the method is pretending as the instance. So let me go back, continue with my methods. So public boolean add record. Private Boolean status secret course return status return status. I'll just copy and paste. Then add record, delete, update. I'm creating them, I'll not implement all of them. Then get record. Then finally get all. Get all records. Now the get all should return what? An array list of what? The records. So I create my variables up here. Private array list of records. I've not created any list. What I'll return for the collection? You let me continue. So record list. I'll come to those guys. You know, I create them when I need them. Private record record. Then let me just instantiate this guy straight away. So I'll come down here. Then I'll fix my return types. So this one should return what? Array list of records. Then this should return record list. Then the get record should return what? A record. And it should return a record instance. So now I have my structures or skeleton in place. Now let me, let me come to what I will need. So I will need a what? The result set. RS private I'll use prepare statement so prepared statement prepare statement yes then let me proceed another distance the query so private 
string query so that's my structure for this guys before i start implementation i'll just copy the whole of this and duplicate it in the other ones i'll do the same for the user manager how many managers do you have it's level product product manager then you do your find a replace so i'm finding what record and replace it with product place all so there's a get to product i'll do the same for the supplier edit I will find them place find record uh, uh, supplier replace all save record record is there then which one is left user so control F find record replace to what user so replace all so I now have all my structures in place. Now let me implement my logic. So I have the query, I have the request statement, I have the user. Everything. Now in the add user, as usual, query sql to what? Insert. Now when I'm adding a user, I need what? A user. So insert into that make it user or users. Users. Insert into users. Values. This. How many values do you want to insert? Three. Come on. That's all. Then ps is equal to con dot prepare statement you take the query you need to try with try catch <coughs> cast what why do i need to cast Connection, what has written me? Ah, but this prepare statement. Okay, I imported from the MySQL. So always please note your import. Don't import from MySQL. Import from the SQL rather. So this. I think so. It's not there. Uh, so why is this to complain? Ah, uh, okay. So it's around a try catch. Then now that I have my connection, I have to bind my parameters. So ps dot what set string column one is what user dot get username. That's the first column. Column two, column three, get what? Password. Then get access level. Get access level. Yes. Change it. You have to go and change it. Modify everything. This is fixed. <laughs> so we've banned it. Then what's next? Execute, right? PS dot what? Execute update. 
so that's all then you can just look for the this one returns let me see what this one returns it returns an integer so i will not use it to definitely be successful after here i'll just change status to true so this is for the adding user then getting a user So I just copy from this side. Deleting user. Then let me do the modifications. So add a user, delete user. So insert into user. So delete from delete from users where user name is equal to. So this one I just bind the username. Where username is equal to this. Then update. What is the query for update? Update users set set username to what? Question mark. Set username to question mark. What are you updating? I want to update everything. Set username to question mark, comma. Password. Let's just modify this thing. Where we can only update what? The access level. So let's change the access level. Set access underscore level to question mark. Where username is equal to question mark. So I have these two parameters. So I need a one. So I need users here. Users. Users. I need like 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Users. So I need the access level and the one. The first one should be what? Access level. And the second one should be what? The username. So I have to swap them. Then, username. At nine. <laughs> Also at nine. No, good. <laughs> so to get the user to okay, so there is the update. Now to get the user, select from right the query. Select star from users where user name is equal to question mark so here to I'll add the users user so where user name is equal to a question mark so i just need a what user name and this one instead of executing update i have to execute what query execute query then when you execute the query this one should return what? A result. So this one is expecting what? A result set. So I receive this in the result set. So RS is equal to this. Is it RS? Then name my RS. Let me go back and change it to RS. RS is equal to this. 
So I'm receiving a result and storing the result set. Then I'll do what? Loop through it. So while RS does what? Next. Then what do I do here? I already am returning a user. So I already have a user instance. So go to what? New user. Then here I'll use the RS dot what? Get. The username is what? String. So get string. Let me use their names. Username. Here to the same thing. RS dot. Get string. Password. I hope you know you can use one, two, and three. You can also use the column names. That's what I'm doing here rs dot get string so this will fetch the value from the data database put create a new instance for us then i return the what the new instance so here let me put the status here. Or let me put it down rather. By the time you get, I know it's successful. So this is my get user. Then get all users. Down to the same thing. Now there's no web clause. So select star from users. There's no binded. Then execute query. Store in RS. Then you continue while RS dot next. RS dot next. I will say. Then I've already created an array list. So I'll just this code is very long. I'll not break it down as I used to do. So user list dot add user then new user. So I'll just go and copy the whole thing here. It's the same thing. Copy. Then I'll paste this code here. So user list dot this. I have to close this. I have an array list. I'm adding a user. As I'm adding, I'm getting a new record and creating a new instance of what? The user and appending it to it. So this one will add it. Then finally I'll return the what? I'm not even returning status, so this one is useless. It's the same here. This one is useless. I'm not using the status. So this is it. It's returned a list here. The list is always returned. So if there's no data, it will tell you. So this will append. So this is my user. Let me do the same for the supplier. That's what I will do. I'll copy this code and modify it there, rather. So let me just start from the top, just as I did. Copy. Then I'll change the other part. Paste. Control F. Yeah. 
Why is it not coming? So find user and replace it. Supplier. Replace all. So let me go through the code, make it full screen and see where are the errors coming from. So you have the supplier list. Supplier list. Okay, okay, okay. So you must change the get those get guys. Then here to where is the error coming from? The method that you imported. You are importing from what? My SQL. Let me just delete it straight away. Then fix it here. Why not? There's no point. There are so many classes. I've, I've told you when to import. Don't do those things. So, supply and set into what are the parameters? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, you have 6, 7 what? Question mark. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, you get those parameters. Let me. So, the first one is what? So, look at the structure of the table. So, the first one is source name, country, address. So, in the same order. So, you get source name. get country get address for get telephone Five get website, then six get contact person, seven get email. There are seven. So get in there. So this will bind the parameters. Then you execute update. The same thing here. So I'll come down here. This one to delete from supplies where let me check my parameters here. The insect. What's the name of the table? Supplier table. Supplier. Insert into supplier values. Yes, okay. So this one to insert into supplier. Where so delete from you are deleting by what? Supplier name. Source name. I do have source in the supplier. Source name, okay. Source underscore name. Sequel to this. So here to get source name but did it get source name up there okay that was the first parameter okay so get source name this one will delete it then you come to update updating to what are you changing you let me just ignore the update you are not updating anything unless maybe you want to change to be too long to let's Hold on for the update for now. I'll just comment it. Then I'll come to the get supplier. We need that one. Select from supplier. 
square source name source underscore name is equal to this so get source name get source name then this one we must recreate it because it doesn't match so I'll just type new supplier rs dot get string this time is too long so I don't use the column names I just use one two three rs dot get string to so that's what i'll do to save time copy paste change it to trail paste change it to four paste change it to five paste change it to six paste change it to seven so this will get a supplier and it will return the supplier then select get all supplies to select all from what suppliers supplier I hope this one I made a supplier. Okay. Supplier, where source name it you call to this. So get all this one to the same thing. I'll just copy the one up here for it. Copy. Paste. So this one get a supplier. Add a list. Okay. So we are done. We are done with the supplier. The supplier was long. Then the next one is what? The record stock. So this one too. Let me copy and paste and edit it. Then type in everything. So I'll do the record stock. Paste, Control F, find supplier, and replace its record. Replace all. Then I'll start from the top. First, I need to change the returns. Delete this guy and import the right package. Then I'll come to the add method. Insert into what? Record. Record, you have one. Let me check for my database. Record, you have how many columns? Six. So I need six. So one, two, three, four, five. Three, three, six. Okay, so here to the same thing. Record, record. The first one is what? The first column is date. The second one is source name. The third one is unit price. A unit price is not string, so you should change it to what? Unit price is what? Double. Then the next one is what? Telephone, which is string. Um, description then the next one quantity quantity is integer so i set what int then finally the next guy is product name then we are done with them so this is so this is a quick update Insert into record values this, then delete from record. 
where source name is equal to so record or get source name okay so this one is okay perfect execute then you are not doing the update then getting the record select from record where source name is equal to record of source name okay so you must change the the ten type here so new record So rs dot get string one. So I'll just copy it. I could have used the old one. This time it's six instead of seven. Hmm? No. Okay, they are get so let me see the parameters. Um one, two, three. The third one is double and the fourth one is the third is double. The fifth is end. So last but one is end. Get end. And the third one is double. So get double. Are you following? So this is the record. I'll just copy it. I'm going to repeat it down there. I don't need to add a semicolon. Copy. Then I come down here. The same code. Paste. So I'm done with the word. The record manager. Return record. So what is left? You've done the big ones. So it's left with the least one. I've done the users too. Product. Okay, it's left with the product. So the product to let me copy this guy. And we do the modification. So product manager. First change the import fix it then let me check my product columns how many columns are there four so name model id and date yes i need to do the replacement control f look forward record replace it Product. Replace all. Then I'll fix it up here. So for product, the table is next product values. There are four values. So I need to delete two. Two. Then here yeah, I need to delete the last two too. And I'll start. They are all strings. Then the first one is name. The second one is model. The next one is ID. The product manager, what did I create? Oh, I didn't add the ID. Private string ID. How to generate getter and setter for it. For the last one. Then I have to delete the default constructor, parameterized constructor, and create a new one. Generate constructor using for okay. Now you have the ID. Save. Then I'll come to then I'll come to the product manager. This time get ID. It's here. Then finally get what? 
this. So you are done with this guy. Then you come down here to delete from product where you don't have source name. So you just have name where name is equal to. And then product dot what get name. That's it. Then select from product where name is equal to what get name. Now I have to create an instance of this guy. This we don't have. Which I, I have not. I didn't give anyone as a primary key, so you can search by any of them. String. There are four columns, so I don't even need the last two. So get string, get string. Then I'll close it, and I'll copy this guy and send it down there. Send it down there. So you are done with our managers. You are done with our managers.